I'm sad. I left. I left my Gatorade downstairs. Okay. Well, we're gonna have everyone t turn off their microphones, please, right now. So, go ahead and take a look at. Oh, there goes my leg. Um, take a look at the bottom left of your screen and just make sure that the little microphone icon has the slash through it. Um, the reason is this is really important is because this is a really small classroom. So even tiny little sounds like taking a glass of water, eating a chip or breathing, um, everyone's going to be able to hear that. So we want to make sure that our microphones are always off unless you're asking a question. So if you're not um, comfortable signing a question yet, that's fine. Um, when you raise your hand and I call on you, um, you're totally welcome to use your voice. Um, but other than that, we're gonna have our microphones off the whole time, um, just because it's very distracting if we can hear little noises. Um, with that said, the next thing we're gonna be doing is having everyone change into optimized avatars. Um, that's going to help reduce lag. So, Samala, Reunion, Bear Bee, um, Green Sunshine, Autocat, uh, Skira. Um, yeah, we need all these uh, friends to make sure you're changing into an optimized avatar. Um, if you don't have an optimized avatar, you can clone one of the gray armband avatars, and that's just going to help reduce our lag majorly. Um, I know it's a little annoying, but it's important, and I really appreciate it. So I'm going to wait for everyone to change into their avatars, and while that's happening, uh, I'm going to go over some really basic rules because I can see a lot of new faces here today. Um, basically, all you got to know is be respectful. Um, so, you know, don't interrupt somebody. I'm going to try not to interrupt you. Um, we're not going to be using words like that's wrong or, oh, like that's a really stupid mistake or like, whoa, why'd you mess up like that? It's okay to make mistakes. It's a really great way to learn. Um, I never want to see any of my students um, using sign as a way to negatively affect People. We always want to be using it to build people up. So just be conscious of what you're saying um, because it affects the people around you. And if you could follow that, then you're all good. Um, also, like I said, keep your microphones off, avatars optimized, and you're ready to learn. Um, so with that said, who here is new? Give me a raise of hand. First, second, third class. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine new people. So, and 10, 10 new people. So go to your left or to your right and sign welcome. This is how you sign welcome. We want to welcome all of our newcomers here. Welcome. We're so happy to have you here. I'm honored to be uh, your teacher for today. Uh, click, quick disclaimer uh, all of our teachers here are not certified. Um, we are not teachers in real life. Well, I'm a teacher's assistant for a preschool, um, but you know, I'm not, I don't have a degree for um, teaching American Sign Language. However, all of our teachers are fluent and highly experienced and grew up in the language and the culture. So that's why we're teaching. Um, and we're also all volunteers. None of us make money. We're not in this for income. We're in this because we want to bring you guys smiles and share our knowledge with you. Um, so yeah, just getting that out of the way in case any of you guys had some confusion about that. And today we are going to learn, we're going to start by learning country signs. Woohoo! Country signs. So before I teach country signs, I'm going to teach two phrases that you might want to know that goes with it. So the first one is a question. The first one is where, everyone's saying where, where are you from? from this is something and you're coming from it you're pulling back of it so somebody asks you where are you from where are you from you can then use that and say i am from i am from or you could use live live where do you live i live in america or you could just say i am american okay so live and from are two really good ones to know live from okay 
So with that, I'm going to bring up my list because I have an awful memory. So just going to make sure I don't skip any. I'm going to put my list right there. Okay. First things first, we're learning American Sign Language. We got to know how to sign America. So uh, uh, a great memory aid. This is how you sign football. Football. You have your two fingers and they interlock each other. So you have football, right? This is football. And you turn it. And then this is a sign together. So then you're showing together because what's more American than being united and playing football or American football? That's what I mean for my Europe people. So, yep, you're going to have your fingers intertwined in front of you going in a circular motion. I'll show you from the side. America. And, and so, disclaimer all, yeah, pretty much all. Tree signs are the same if you want to say like a person. So like for example, America, the country, and American with an N. Or if you want to say France or French, they're the same signs. Okay? So they're not different if you're saying I speak French or I'm from France. Okay? Same sign. So if you're like I am an American or I'm from America, same sign. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, America, America. Next one. Australia, if you have index, you're gonna have two middle fingers connected to each other. If you don't have index, you could use rock and roll, okay? Or you can indicate it like that, okay? So you're gonna have your middle fingers connected to each other, and then you're gonna kind of open it. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, you're going to kind of like fling it and kind of move it forward, almost like you pick something up and you're moving it like that. Here's here's picking something up, flicking it away like you got a booger on your finger. <laughs> Australia, Australia. And I see some people kind of do that, like they go up more, going up and then down. That's fine. Oh, lag, lag. Okay, so that's fine. If you want to more exaggerate it, you're going up, down, that's fine. Or if you just want to go like that. It's really important, though, your palm orientation. Your palms are facing downwards. Your palms are not to the side. Your palms are not facing up. Your palms are down, like you're about to tap your thighs. Okay? Australia. Next one is Austria. Austria, we have a few people who are awesome here. So you're going to have your two fingers pointed and you're going to interlock. You're not going to interlock them. You're going to put your, your wrist on top of your other wrist like this, and then you're going to wiggle. Austria, you wiggle your fingers. Austria, it's important. It's not touching your chest. You're not giving yourself a hug. It's in front of you. See how my elbows are still still forward you're not i'm not touching my my chest i'm i'm forward okay and you're wiggling your fingers austria austria yeah there's also a old variation where you use three hands and your thumbs are interlocked and you're moving your fingers this is old you can use it if you want this is a lot just easier to sign especially in vr okay next one this is in alphabetical order by the way so Okay, this one is hard to do in VR, but Africa, in real life, every single one of your fingers are going to move, like, individually. It's really hard to do it in VR, but you're going to, so you're doing my pinky closes, my ring finger closes, my middle finger closes, my pointer finger closes. And then it, it's supposed to be, I'm doing it slow, it's supposed to be like that, okay? But fast, it's like this, Africa. Africa, but you're not just doing open hand to close hand. You're not doing this. No, it's about each individual finger closing, and you're also sort of twisting your wrist. So for, for my non-index users, you really want to make sure you're twisting your wrist. It's not this. It's each finger twisting. In real life, it's a very beautiful sign. I love how it looks. It's just very hard to do in VR, but I want you to think really hard when you're doing this about each individual finger moving okay because when you're signing this in real life it's really important to 
get this kind of wiggle effect, okay? So Africa, Africa. A really good way to remember it is it's sort of similar to beautiful, beautiful, and you think about African culture, and it's very beautiful and stunning, you know? Africa, there you go. And if you want to do something like South Africa, you just do South. There's not a different sign. So this is South, right? South is down, and you have an S, South Africa, or whatever, okay? Next one, Brazil. Brazil, you're going to have a B hand. So for my index users, we're making sure that thumb is tucked in. For my non-index users, you can just use an open hand. And then I want you to imagine the shape of Brazil. Everyone, right now, what does it look like? What does it look like? Think of it in your head. Think of it in your head. Brazil. Brazil. You're going to outline the shape of Brazil. If you don't know what Brazil is shaped like, it, it's kind of, it goes out and then it juts in and back down. Brazil. Brazil. And that whole time you're using that B hand. B for Brazil. So my index users are my people who are signing this in real life. It's not an open hand. It's a B hand. Brazil. Okay. That one's easy if you know what the shape of Brazil is. <laughs> I saw a few people kind of go like this when I asked for them <laughs> to think of Brazil. So <laughs> study your geography. <laughs> uh, okay, Canada. Canada. You're going to have a thumbs up, and you're going to tap, tap, tap on your chest. Easy. Canada. America's hat. <laughs> Canada. I'm sorry if you hear some background noise going on, by the way. Who here lives in Canada? Who's here Canadian? Raise your hand. Canadian, 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 Canadian. Nice. Okay, who's American? Raise your hand. I'm American. Let me see some Americans. Awesome. Let's see. Do we have any people from Australia here? Do we have any Australians? You're an Australian. Okay, we got an Australian. All right. Awesome. Cool. Okay. I doubt. Is anyone here from Brazil? Let's just see. Is anyone from Brazil? Nope. Nope. All right. <laughs> okay. So we learned Canada. Canada. Next is China. So China. If you've ever seen a traditional Chinese dress, it looks like the way that the folds of the fabric, it goes like this. It's a, almost like a seven shape. So with that, you're, I've seen some people do an X hand, but honestly, in VR, you can just do point your finger. And you're going to outline that shape of a traditional Chinese dress. China. And I've seen some people, again, it's that exaggeration where I've seen some people kind of flick. Kind of flick. That's fine. You can do that if you'd like. For me, I just draw seven on my chest like that. And you're going all the way down to about your tummy area. China. China. And remember what I said, it's the same thing when you're talking about the language. So you could talk about the country. Oh, let's go fly to China. But first, we need to learn Chinese. First, we need to learn Chinese. It's the same sign. Or are you talking about a person? I am a Chinese person. He is Chinese. All the same sign. Okay? Makes it simple, right? <laughs> okay, so we learn China. Next is... Columbia. You're going to have a C hand and you're just going to go like this. Make sure you're not next to your forehead. This is cousin. You're doing it like in front of you. See how my, my elbow's at a degree right here? You're going to have it in front of you, not by your head. Columbia. Columbia. Yep. And then very similar is Costa. Rica. If we're learning Costa Rica, you go C R. In real life, you have that R hand, that twisted fingers. So we're gonna go C R. C R. You're basically doing it initialized. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. It's a little bit hard to do in VR, but it's C R. Okay? So Colombia, Costa Rica. Ooh, this one's fun. Egypt. So in real life, you have kind of a twisted finger like this, and then your thumb is going to be touching it. So if you have index, you're going to twist your finger, and then you're going to tap, 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 tap on your forehead. Um, what's the name? Uh, pharaohs. Pharaohs. They had those, um, the snake. The snake at the top of their head on like, the looks like a crown. It's just like that. Egypt or Egyptian. Yep. Egypt. Egypt. 
So if you don't have index, you just use a pointer finger and you bend it. Okay? You make sure you bend it though, because this is a different sign. It has to be like bent. And I see some people also kind of twist it forward. Some people do that. You can do that. I just tap it. Okay. England, same sign as English. English. So this is a, a, actually easier to do without index. You're going to have two relaxed hands. With index, it's very difficult to do a relaxed hand. And then you're going to tap, tap, tap your palm of your upper hand on the back of your other. So I'm right-handed, so I'm tapping my right hand on my left, okay? On, so your palm is down. Both your palms are downwards. We're not, not up. Yep. Good. Oh, this is also the same sign if you want to say British, British, England, English, same sign, okay? Or you could say UK if you'd prefer. UK, just fingerspell it. UK. Okay. France, if you have index or you have F gesture, you're going to do F, F for France or French. If you don't have it, what I did before is I would implicate it and then I would actually use a fist, but you could also implicate it and use an open hand. But we're going to use F hand and you swipe next to you. French or France. I live in France. I'm learning French. France. French. Good. Ooh, so fancy. <laughs> okay. This one is interesting. Do I have any people from Germany here? We do usually have a few. Germany. Looks like we have one. So the old sign for Germany used to be this. Remember how I told you Egypt? It's not a pointer finger. So this, the reason I say this is old is because it's not used very widely anymore because um, it, it's somewhat offensive um, because it's representing the helmets that the Germans would wear in war. Um, and so a lot of uh, German people were like, dude, we're not all about war. Like, <laughs> you know, like, like we, we got other stuff going for us, you know? Um, so because it's so focused on uh, the war aspect, uh, it's been changed to, you're gonna have your, fin your hands overlapping each other, kind of like an X, and you're gonna wiggle, 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 wiggle your fingers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yep, we have index, each finger is Individual, if you don't have index, it's kind of open to relaxed, like that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So this is the new sign for Germany. Okay, but the reason I still teach this one is because there's still some people who use it. It's not hateful. It's not like you're gonna use this if you don't like German people. It's just the older sign, and this is the newer sign. But I do want to educate you on why this sign is changing, okay? So German or Germany. Next sign is Greece. Greece. You're going to have a G hand, and then you're going to, this one's really hard to do in VR. And you're on your nose, and you kind of go outwards on your nose. This is so hard to do in VR. I don't know why I put this on my list. Um, and it's a little silly, but um, I don't know if you guys know the term, like, Greek nose. It, they're kind of, like, some people who are from Greece have um, a bit more bigger noses, so it's, it's kind of showing how, how the nose looks. It's a silly sign. <laughs> okay, Netherlands. Do I have anyone here from the Netherlands? Netherlands. Okay, I see some people. We're going to have an open hand on the sides of our head and then pull out like this. Netherlands. 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 And then um, if you want to say Dutch specifically, Dutch you're doing a D hand. See how my hand is turned? It's on my forehead. It's not forward, it's like this. And you tap, 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 tap. Not up here, it's on my forehead. Okay, so Netherlands, Netherlands, we wanna say Dutch, Dutch. Netherlands, okay. Okay, so Hong Kong. Hong Kong has two signs. One of them is just HK, HK, Hong Kong. HK, okay. The other one is like this. This is, a, I think it's a newer one. I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen this until, wait, hold on, it's more like this. There you go. Going inwards. 
There we go. So you could either do Hong Kong or Hong Kong. Personally, I would just do Hong Kong. Way easier. <laughs> but that's me. You are totally welcome to do whatever you want. Okay, next one. India. You're going to have a thumb and then you're kind of twist on your forehead. Um, just like how a lot of women from India have, I don't know what it's called. I know there's a word for it. Please excuse my ignorance. There's like the dot in the middle of their forehead. So it's like showing like you have something on your thumb and you're pressing it onto your middle of your forehead. It's a little bit hard to do in VR because you can't quite track that. Like in real life, I'm touching my forehead, but it's a little bit, you kind of have to, there you go. It's a little if and VR. Okay, Ireland. <laughs> Do we have any people from Ireland here today? Any Irish people? Okay, hi, cool. So first I'm gonna show you how to sign potato. Potato, you're gonna, if you have, um, uh, <laughs> if you have index, it's curved. And then you go tap, 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 this is your potato. And you're tapping it with your fork to let the steam out. You know, right after you cut, you, you cook your potato, it's really hot, so you got to let the steam go, okay? But it's a fist, okay? So this is potato. This is Ireland. <laughs> it's literally pretty much the same as potato. So that should be easy to remember, okay? The potato, you're poking it with your fork to let all that steam out. Ireland, you're going in a circle down, okay? Isn't that funny? <laughs> potato country. There you go. <laughs> Next one is. Italy. I was so sad because I know one of my students is from Italy, but they're not here today. So do we have any other people from Italy with us today? Any Italians? I see. Nope, looks like not. Okay, so Italy. I've seen two signs, either with eye hand, and you make kind of a cross on your forehead like this. Italy. Italy. Or a much more common one is you kind of have your fingers squeezed like this. So our non-index users would just use an L hand. And then you kind of show the shape of Italy. Like this. Italy. Yep, just like that. Good. My non-index users, L hand. Okay. Italy. Or Italy. Italy. Next one. Japan. You're going to have two L hands down here like this and pull multiple times. Japan. Yeah. Japan. Japan. Zade is from Japan. Yep. Next one is Korea. You're going to have, you could either do it two hands or one hand. So two hands, you start open and then you go down like this. Or you could do it. One handed. So two handed, one handed. Either whatever you want. Korea, Korea, Korean, Korean. Same sign. Like that. Okay. Okay, next sign. Mexico. You're going to have a peace sign on your forehead and twist outwards. I'll show you from the side. Mexico. Mexico. Or Mexican. But if you're talking about Spanish or Spain, it's this. Spain or Spanish. Okay? So you're coming from your shoulder. You're poking your shoulder to open to another finger. Okay? So if you're talking about Mexico, it's like this. Talking about Spain or Spanish, like this. Different. Okay? Philippines. Philippines. I had to add this one because I am Filipino. My grandmother immigrated from the Philippines. And I I love Filipino food, so I had to add it. So Philippines, you're going to have a fist. Okay. So this is island. This is how you sign island. You have an eye hand, and you're going in a circle around it. Philippines is an island. So remember, if you know the sign island, you know the sign Philippines. There's a P for Philippines. And then you're going to go around like island, P hand with island. Yes. Philippines or Filipino. Philippines. Good. 
Next one is Russia. Do we have any people from Russia here today? Any Russian? Oh, nice. Okay, we got one. Awesome. So Russian, you're going to have right by your cheek. You're going to swipe under your nose and then flick outwards. Russia. Russia. It's almost like you got snot and you're like, <laughs> got snot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right under your nose. It's important that you're doing it under. Russia. Russian. Next is Scotland. Scotland. When you think Scotland, you probably think like kilts, like, you know, the the plaid kilts. So if you think of the, sh the uh, design of plaid, imagine each of your fingers drawing a line. You're drawing a line down and then you're drawing another line, right? So then you do that on your shoulder. You're drawing plaid on your shoulder. Okay? Scotland. Imagine each individual finger doing a line. Scotland. That's how I remember it. Next is Sweden or Swedish. You're going to have, again, a fist. And then you're going to open and close your hands like this. Sweden. Sweden. Good. And finally, Thailand. Thailand on your nose. So very similar to Russia, except you're on your forehead and nose area. Thailand. Thailand. Okay. Are you guys ready for a review? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, ready, ready? Okay, cool. I'm going to spit some of these out and you guys better impress me. First one. America. Show me America. Yes. 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 America. America. Good. What about Brazil. Do you guys remember Brazil? Good. Yes! Brazil. Brazil. You have your B hand. You're showing me the shape of that. Brazil. What about Egypt? Can you show me Egypt? Yes. Yes. Great. You have that bent finger. I like how, uh, so I don't know how to pronounce your name. You, This person, student here who doesn't have index, what they did is they curled their finger like that to show that it's cur curled. I like that. That's awesome. What about France? Can you show me France or French? Good. Good. Okay, it looks like a few of you guys forgot. That's okay. You have an F hand, F for French, and you twist twist next to your uh, face. It's a little silly, but uh, one of my students told me the way that they remember is they imagine like a French villain and they have a really long twisty mustache and they're like, oh, 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 I am playing with my mustache. Oh, it is, I am so, I am so evil. <laughs> okay, so if that helps you remember, imagine a French villain twisting their mustache. There you go. Okay, what about Japan? Japan. Who can remember that? Yes. Yes. I see a few. You guys forgot. That's okay. L hands. And you're pulling. Pulling. Japan or Japanese. What about Korea? Korea. Good. There's two variations, Korea or Korea. Good. Okay. What about, do you guys remember Africa? Yes. Good. Africa. Africa. Each of those fingers coming and twisting inwards. Good. Yay. Okay. And let's finish with Netherlands. Who can show me Netherlands? Good. This one's hard. 
good. Good. Netherlands. Netherlands. Good job. It's okay if you forgot. Netherlands. Netherlands. Or, yes, Dutch. You could say Dutch. Netherlands. Dutch. Good. Good, 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 good. I'm so happy. Awesome. And we're making good time, too. Okay, so. Now. Okay, wait. I need another show of hands. I already asked. Who here is American? Give me another show of hands. Give me another. Okay, so that's about 50% of our people here. That's 50%. So, uh, when you're in America, right? Somebody says, where you live, you live in America. They say, what state? This is how you sign state. You have an open hand, S hand. State. State. Okay? What state? Or which state? Which state? So, I'm going to tell you, most states are what's called initialized. So, for example, Florida. FL, Florida, Florida, okay? Easy. So if you know the official abbreviations for states, because they do have them in English as well, if you're writing, then it's the same in sign. However, some states have special signs. So a great example would be my state. I live in California, and that is signed. You start with a pointer finger on your cheek, and then you come out and shake to an I love you hand. And some people also just do it with an I love you hand. Okay. The reason is, number one, California popularized the I love you hand. So that's why it utilizes that. Second, California is really known for the gold rush. And this is how you sign gold. Gold. With a Y hand. So they kind of combined those two things of California popularizing I love you. And California being known for the gold rush. And then you get this sign, which is a combination of I love you and gold. Okay. Um, another example of a state that has a sign would be Texas. You're going to have a bent finger and X hand. And you're going to do a kind of whipping seven motion. So you're doing a seven, except you do it very, very powerful. You're powerful. You're from Texas. Everything's so amazing. You're from Texas. Texas. <laughs> Gotta put your emotion into it. Texas. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. These are the ones that are like most known. I'm trying to think of other states with signs. Um, yeah. Most of them are just initialized. Oh, but it's. Also really important to know that there might be regional signs. So um, it's, oh, I just thought of another one. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, um, so somebody who lives in a state might have um, a sign that they use, but only in that state. So the people in that area use it, but it's not like really wed well, spread, well spread and it's not official. So it's totally... Um, it happens that people in the state make their own state signs, even though it's not official. Okay, so that's also important to know. Um, I've had students tell me in the past, like, hey, Jenny, you said just to initialize that state, but I live in that state and we use this sign. And I'm like, oh, I never knew that, you know. So that's totally not wrong. Just happens. Um, another sign that ha another state that has a sign is New York. You're going to have a Y hand, Y hand. So for people who don't have index, you use a thumbs up. You have open hand with a palm up, and then you're going to go like this. New York, New York, New York, <laughs> New York. There you go. New York, New York. Cool. These are like the main ones that I can think of with a sign. I'm also really bad at remembering the names of states, so that's totally my bad. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So who can show me the sign for California? Go. Good. California. California. Who can show me a sign? Texas. Put your back into it. There you go. Texas. 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 <laughs> okay. Who could show me a sign? Nevada. Jenny, you didn't teach that sign. It's initialized. There you go. 
and V. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. See, I don't even have to teach it to you and you already know it. Look how smart you guys are. Look how smart you are. <laughs> uh, and yeah, if all else fails, you can totally initialize it. And if somebody tells you, oh, there's a sign for that state. Cool. You got two ways to sign it. Okay. So I'm going to start taking questions now because... In California, it's like 105 or like 103. It's very hot right now. And my headset is not helping. So I kind of want to wrap up class, even though it's only been about 40 minutes. So I hope that's okay with you. So I'll take some questions and then we'll you know, take a picture. Hi, Minty. You guys can make a line. That just makes it way easier. Do you know if there's any signs specifically for Kentucky? Kentucky. I only know just the initialized one. I can go ahead and take a look up for you, though. Give me Sweet. like one minute. There's totally a chance that there is. I don't even know how to spell Kentucky. Oh, there we go. I spelled it wrong. Ooh. Let's see. Nope. It's just KY. KY. Oh well. Yep, initialized. KY. Any other questions? Hi Stardust, you can or Big Pancake, you guys can make a line. I don't know who or you can do you know what? We haven't done a rock, paper, scissors in so long. Big Pancake and Stardust, come up here. You get a rock, paper, scissors to find out who goes first, okay? Let's go. I'm gonna say it, so do it with my voice, the latency. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I thought shoot. Okay, again, again. On shoot. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aha! Big Pancakes wins. <laughs> you go after. For. <laughs> mm -hmm. Province. Oh, I have not seen that before. I don't use this word in my day-to-day -day life, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you found it on the interwebs, probably true. Yeah, province. I've never seen that before. I'll take your word for it, though. Yeah, because in America, we just say states. Uh, or we say region. Region, but I've never had to use the word province. I'm moving to Canada, though, so I guess I should know. <laughs> Okay, Stardust, now you're next. Go for it. Sweating like a dog. Okay. S O. So, fingerspell it. So, if you're talking about like in a conversation, like it is totally a sign that people use. People are just like, so I went to the store today. And it, you know, like you say, like so, like, like moving on to a sentence. But if you want to say so, like so much, you could just use like really. Like, that's really a lot, or that's really so much. Yeah. Hi, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, any, any of those websites like HandSpeak, um, or any of those, they're in our resources tab, and you could just states and and then it'll show up and we also have in uh, sign assistance they have it so you can just say um percentage asl and then the word and it will show up with the word yeah oh hi <laughs> um do you know any special signs for colorado <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of the vine where it's like, I'm a giraffe! <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um, um, no, I do not know the sign for Colorado. I You just initialized that sign. <laughs> sorry for, uh, <laughs> for laughing. That's like the only thing I know about Colorado. <laughs> I'm a giraffe! <laughs> okay. That's all yeah, right. Just, just initialize. <laughs> Hi, Web. Hello. Um, so whenever you ended up going for California, which was, I 
quest, I don't have the I love yeah. you, and it's the Y. So the you only totally thing I can sign is gold. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I'm It's context, okay. so they're going to know that you mean California if you're talking about I live here like they're they're not going to be like you live in gold okay what? Like, <laughs> it's totally context yeah. okay okay that's a great question though and jeremy i see you have a question too what's up i have a question mm -hmm. my mom is a winner for the make a win for the ticket mm -hmm. i had a 621 ticket for the victory mm -hmm. zone I can win for my 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 Rubik's cube for the casino cube. By the way. Oh, that's awesome! Did I you see... just want to tell me that, or you have a question about it? I gotta tell him like that for the for the banana. I can win for the chatpots after mm -hmm. all. If oh, I okay. Win, I will. Do this for the for the my mom. For oh, that's very Vegas. sweet of you. That's very sweet of you. Okay. Thank you for telling me that. Do you did you have a question about it or did you just want to share? I want to share. Just want to share. Okay, awesome. <laughs> that's fine. Do we have any other questions before we end class and take a photo? Okay, cool. Let's take a photo. Woohoo! I can get your question right after we're done. I saw your hand sneaking up there. <laughs> All right, get ready for the lag. Lag time, lag time, my favorite time of year. 